Joining us now in, in the program is Su Xiaohui, Deputy Director of the Department of American Studies at the China Institute of International Studies and Professor Zhao Yupei from the College of Media and International Culture at Zhejiang University, joins us from Hangzhou. Uh, Professor Zhao is also the Vice President of Popular Communication at the International Communication Association. Happy Year of the Rabbit to both of you and thank you so much for taking the time out on New Year's Day to uh, speak to us. Um, Ms. Wu, so I want to start with you. Now, we usually talk about politics, but forget all of that for tonight. You're a Beijing local. We want to know how did you celebrate Lunar New Year's Eve? Well, Happy New Year to everyone and Zhao Yang. And for the Chinese New Year, uh, for my family, we will change our clothes first, like this kind of clothes. You have some decorations on it. And we will exchange, we call it red envelopes to each other, and especially giving the best wishes to the children. Dinner is always quite important for Chinese families. Uh, we usually have chicken uh, as a symbol of uh, good luck. And fish is also very popular for the uh, for the New Year dishes. Uh, fish means that you will gain more fortune in the next year. In, during the dinner, uh, the family will talk to each other and to, to chat and to celebrate. And uh, at, the, uh, at the New Year's Eve, people will also make dumplings together, especially for uh, people, uh, local people in Beijing. So the Chinese New Year is a time for family gathering and for celebration for the happy times. And food, food, food. Well, Professor Zhao, so battle of north versus south. How do people living uh, in your uh, side of the country celebrate Chinese New Year? Yeah, thank you both. Happy New Year first, I would say. As a southerner, we usually eat hot pot and fish, uh, steamed fish as a, as a must-have and uh, considered as the auspicious. Or we also eat the, the year cake or soup bowls with the swelled fowling on New Year's Eve, means family reunion and uh, togetherness. So we get together and uh, sit around with the heater, eat and drink late in the night, and also we set up the fireworks all the time, enjoy so much with family members, and waiting for the coming of the midnight. So when the old year is dismissed and also the new year is welcoming in, and also as a start, and the, the red pocket, the red packet among was smaller than as a rule, you know. The circle of the recipient is much wider than the northern one because we should give in those people who have uh, regular contact for us, like the doorman, the cleaner, or security guards, etc. And also, particularly in the Cantonese speaking regions, the second day of the new year is marked as a, another big feast dumped. Kai Nian Fan, which can be eaten at home or with friends, etc. Yeah. Well, I'm a northerner too, I have to say. Um, Miss Su, so uh, when you listen to what uh, Professor Zhao has been saying, what do you think? Is this uh, the kind of customs that you could get used to if you ever moved to the, to the south? What are some of the big differences you're noticing? Well, for the, for the south and north, I heard that the people from uh, different regions name different uh, days as kind of special days. Like as you may have heard that little New Year Day, Xiao Nian. And as for this day, uh, people from north and south have different uh, days uh, to, to celebrate or to prepare for different foods. And as for food, uh, for the people from the north, we usually have jiaozi, uh, a kind of dumpling at the spring festival. And people in the south always have uh, a tang yuan, another kind of mm -hmm. dumpling. And dumplings always works for different uh, emo important events and for the family to celebrate. But I suppose that it means that people getting together and sharing best wishes and uh, have a good time with each other. It is the same. And I may heard a little bit thing that may sound a little bit freak. For the people from the north, we keep the, the rubbish, the, the waste in our house for several several days yes. to, to keep the money in your house, it means. Mm, I, I, I didn't hear my friends from the source talking about it. Well, Professor Zhao, does that hold true for uh, southerners? I don't know because it's not true in Sichuan. I come from Sichuan, yeah. But but it, that's a Chinese saying that uh, a distance of ten miles separate different costumes in China. We are a big country. Absolutely. Yeah. But you know, at the heart of all of this, at the end of the day, is you know what Miss Wu was saying. It's all about reunion, just getting together with your loved ones. And um, Professor Zhao, this uh, is the first 
year spring festival of China in three years since uh, the country eased its COVID restrictions. So things are slowly on its way to getting back to normal. How do you expect people to be spending this holiday week? Yeah, it's a good relief for, for all of us. And I found that there are two explicit ways. One is go for traveling. Now you, you, you have noticed that like Dalian, Shanya became the most popular choices. And my friends say they just want to take a walk here and there, no destinations. And I found that there's another popular choices for holiday, which I personally prefer. Have you heard of, of the boiling tea around the stock, which called Wei Nu Zhu Cha? A pot of hot tea is placed in the middle, and we put the chestnuts and the grains are placed on the pathway of the tea pot. And so this kind of new things comparing with the traditional way of drinking tea, it's kind of a new environmental value emotional value for young people and uh, the fire contains not only the material pursuit of the youth but also their spiritual stereotypes yeah well i think you're definitely right about people wanting to get out and about as well i'm looking forward to traveling the country a bit and seeing all these different customs well thank you both so much once again and a happy healthy uh, year of the rabbit to both of you that's uh, su xiao hui and zhao yu pei with us but uh, professor zhao will speak to you a little bit later in the program so do stay with us well, let's bring back uh, our guest, Professor Zhao Yupei, to talk a bit more about the Spring Festival Gala. Professor Zhao, thanks for staying with us. So what do you think about the uh, tone of this year's of gala? Thank you for your question. This year, the gala featured uh, dynamic performances surrounding by full of colorful flowers that uh, adhere to the general charm of hot place and art specialists. So I could tell from my, my mother's faces last night, she was smiling all the time. And sometimes she was touched by, with tears. So it looks very funny, but I could tell how we enjoy it. That's Thank been, you. It's been around for four decades, and of course, things have changed so much. But, you know, it's still a ritual for many Chinese families, isn't it, on New Year's Eve? And for those who live abroad, uh, people do still tune in too. What do you think uh, Spring Festival, the gala, means to them? Very important, more than more than you think. That recalled me when I lived in UK for seven years. It was so great to share the memories of motherland, hometown, or anyone you concerned on on the other side. And the second is it still play as a cultural bridge of a heartfelt gathering to you reunite Chinese. And the third is to highlight our confidence for sharing the oldest living civilization through the Spring Festival Gala. Yeah. And there are also now um, a lot of people who aren't Chinese, who maybe don't understand Chinese, who are actually interested in the gala. Um, what do you think the significance of uh, this tradition is now? Very important to showcase our creativity. Uh, how to be a crossroad of traditional and modern cultures by this kind of innovative programs. For for instance, like the hundreds of birds coming home last night, performed by Tan Wei Wei and the song and the dance performances based on the Cantonese traditions. I'm so obsessed about this kind of splendid Chinese cultures and also quite appreciate the best kind of Chinese pop singers. Their voices can make the pop style converge with cultural heritage. And the second is, is still recade for the past of years to show our respect for those people who have contributed to our daily life. And the third is still concerning me a lot is a highly take applications uh, elevated to the audio virtual experiences to an um, unprecedented height. For instance, like as you remember the Metaverse Temple Fair, very promising VR industrial improvement. Yeah. And you were saying earlier how um, you were watching the show with your mother, you saw that it, it brought a tear to her eye almost. Um, and of course, she's seen the big changes. She's testimony to all the changes that the gala has experienced over the years. Um, what do you think some of the biggest ones are? I noticed that there is an increasing number of the normal people who have joined the performances. So those story, story they have told us is about the current affairs, is about the, the things we care about every day. So that is a big change for me.
All right. Well, listen, thank you so much for uh, spending your time with us on Chinese New Year Day. I really appreciate it. It's Professor Zhao Yupei uh, from the College of Media and International Culture at Zhejiang University. Thanks again and Happy New Year. Happy New Year.